Welcome to this Optimize Press Clubhouse video. Today's template is called Seller. Now this is a little bit different than all of our other templates. You're gonna have to watch through just to the end to see how we can change a few images. We've added some images using some custom CSS. So you need to download a zip file which is included with this template. Download the zip file which contains a few images for each of the modules. Then I'm gonna show you in the live editor how you can update the URLs for these images so it calls in the images from your own site and it actually loads. So I'll show you those images in a moment. I'll just walk you through the template now. I'll show the images which need to be changed and then we'll go into the live editor and I'll show you how to make those changes. So here is the template on the screen. We've got a nice big headline at the top, capitalized font and highlighted a few keywords there for you to make your keywords or stand out in your sales message or your headline message at the top. You can see we've got a nice purple section as well, so the font stands out clearly. Now the template itself is a very long template, a very long sales letter style. We've sort of included this border here, or this letter format, so it's got a nice white border all the way down the template in the content sections. So let me walk you through everything. We've got the video at the top here, great place to put in you know, an instant message, maybe it's from you or telling you about your product, so you can engage with the person reading it. We then drop down into a very content heavy page. Okay, so this is used for maybe if you're selling a high price product, this is good for a long form sales copy, can work quite well with high price products. It allows you to put in more content, more features, and explaining everything about your product. So that's what this page is really for. Um, I'll skim through all the elements. The elements are all in included inside Optimized Press, things like our testimonial block elements for social proof. We've got text block elements using images, we've got images in different column layouts, using images here to break up all these text blocks. As you can see, it's very content heavy. These are all done with text blocks. One thing that is different is everything here at the top is inside a featured box, okay? So this template is really just to give you ideas of your own layout, whether you're using images to showcase the lifestyle people might have of your product, whether you want to feature articles that you've been, you know, sites that you've been featured in, you want to get some screenshots. Shot, sorry, we've also got this graph section. So maybe if you've got some stats you want to show people, whether you're growing an email list, you can show them how your list has grown over a certain period of time. Maybe it's traffic stats you want to put in there. So really just use these images and these headlines that we're using here as ideas for your own page. And you can obviously switch them out. You could change these to be testimonials or featured images of the products. You can see again, we've gone down into more text blocks and featured blocks. We're using bold headlines to highlight different sections. We're using bullet points in the content. We're using featured blocks again. More testimonials if you wanted to. We've got a bullet list here. So you can see it's very content heavy. You can have a meet section, meet the team if you want to showcase some of the people on your team. And then we break that up with a large blue section here right away across the, uh, the row, right away across the page. And inside there we've got a overlay optimizer. When we click on it, opens up a video. Now you could also add in an opt-in form here if you wanted, you know, for list building. This entire image as well is the click or the click that triggers the overlay optimizer. So that's using a main image rather than a button or text. And we drop down into some more featured blocks. Again, this is all inside a featured box here. I'll show that in the live editor. We've got testimonials there, we've got text blocks. And we drop down into these featured boxes here for the modules, okay? So these are the module section. Now, as you see in the module section, these are the images I was talking about at the start that we're going to replace, okay? So these images in the modules, they're using CSS, they're set to the side, and you need to replace the URL if you want to have this same effect. Now, when you um, install your template, these images won't appear here. So that's the, I'll show you that in the live editor, how we get those images to show. You can see here we've got another module two, then module three, and then into module four, we're using that featured block. We've got these bullet list icons on the left here. Then we drop down into another featured box, showing some more content, some more advanced training material on your course, if you want to cover some more advanced details, what people might be learning. You can see here, so these are all featured uh, text blocks. We're using text blocks, bullet lists, and the headlines. Then we drop into the bonus section, Again, this is another featured box. We're using the, those custom images over on the right-hand side. And we've got another. You could clone these if you wanted to add more or less. 
Then we drop down into this lovely guarantees section. We've got that guaranteed badge, little custom icon. If you are selling high priced product, definitely worth having a guarantee on there. Even a good guarantee for any kind of product you're selling. People want to show that they can obviously get a refund if they're not happy with their purchase. So you want to make this clear in your message. Then we drop down into this pricing section. The pricing section is using featured boxes again. We've got these two different colors, the more prominent color on the left hand side. We want people to take this option. You can see here we've then added the crosses here. This is not included sort of inside this package that people, if they want to take that package. And below that we've got two buttons as well where they can click through and obviously buy that product if they wanted. And then below that we've got a question section so we can eliminate any doubt the person might have your chance to answer some of your most frequently asked questions and then followed up by some social proof with these testimonials. Then we drop down into the pricing section again but this time we're showing more detail about each product. So these are big large sections maybe you want to show payment options or some more information that's included with each different package again with a large order button under it. Using the same colors for these as the pricing boxes above you can see there into another payment button and then we're into the last frequently asked questions section as we go towards the bottom of the page. So there you see it, it's a long form page, it's a very long page, lots of content, lots of text there to use and you can edit all that text, edit all the images, add your own, just use this page for some ideas if you want to create your own long form sales page. So let's jump inside the live editor. Okay, so let's scroll down here. The first thing I want to show you is the entire template is built using featured blocks. And you can see here like this section is a featured block, then this section below is a feature block. And all of these text icons and these elements are all inside one featured block. So I'll show you that when I edit it. So let's just go to this one here. We'll edit this one. Click on the pencil icon. And here is all that content inside a featured box. So the featured box, um, we're setting the style and the width of this template or the letter style with a white um, color and then we've got that background on the outside but all the content inside these feature blocks you can see it here these are all the images that are added inside there's all the text there's our two uh, um, our two column you know featured element there so we've got the images on either side and there you have it so you can see all these elements are inside these are all the featured block elements We've got spacer elements, headline elements. Okay, so you can see that's all content inside one feature block. And again, that's been add, done like that all the way down. So the next section will be a feature block. Inside that will be a lot of elements with all the different content in them. And you can obviously adjust the width of these if you wanted to. You can open up the content box editor, go to advanced options, and you can increase the width of this if you wanted to. Bear in mind you'd have to increase it on all the other content boxes as well to keep your consistency in the layout. So that first section there is the entire content box. And if we go down and keep going down, we'll see the next one here. This is actually a row, sorry. And then we go again into a featured box below that. And the other thing I want to show you is these side images. I mentioned before we have these images on the right hand side. Now below this video is a download file which contains all of these images inside them. So what you have to do, you have to go inside your media library. So you'd go into your media library like here and you'd upload your new file into your library. And once your image was inside there you could click on edit and then you could go through and you could copy this file URL here which we're going to use later on in the template. So if you download the files that are included with this template, upload them to your media library, and you come and edit the file you want here and copy this URL, okay? So once you've copied that URL, you want to be putting in this image in place. Now to do that, we go into the page settings. Um, just before I do that, you can see this is called module one, and then below that we've got module two, and module three, and so on, okay? so. To edit module one, this image, what you want to do, you go into page settings, other scripts, and you'd expand this custom CSS section. So I'll expand that there and make sure you can see it. And you can see here inside the CSS, we have here module background 01 or module BKG 01. And you can see there we have a URL which is calling in that laptop image there. Or if I jump to the other tab, Scroll on down. 
So it's this image we're working on here inside the template, this laptop image, that's being called in using this CSS URL here. Now on your template it would say add image URL. So that's what you do, you go into your media library like I showed you, you copy that URL, you come back to page settings and you paste it into here. And you could do that for each of the modules, you can see we've got module 2, 3 and 4. Again, so you'd upload the images into your media library, you get that image URL and you come back and you can replace this image URL that we have here. On yours, it'll say add image URL here. So you just want to make sure you add it the same with no quote marks, it's just inside the brackets. And once you do that, you scroll to the bottom, click the update, and what it will then do, it will then pull in your images from your media library on your own site. So at the moment when you install this, you won't have these images in place. They're included in that separate file that you download with this template. And this is all done by custom CSS. So it's actually pulling the image in and lining it over to the right and it's doing all that stuff behind the scenes. All you have to do is replace that image with the ones we've provided or simply use your own images you know, from your own media library. Make sure you could resize them and upload them and replace them in the same way. So. That's really how you want to change the images. So remember, that's the same for all these module images. Module 2, 3, and 4 there. And you can upload them to a media library, get the URL, you go into page settings, and you replace it. So this is slightly more technical than any of our other templates. We wanted to try and mix up the design, make things a bit different, and obviously give you the option to change a few things if you wanted. But to keep this style and this consistent layout, have that image on the right hand side or that half image that sticks in, you need to replace that URL inside the page settings. So thank you so much for your patience with this template and watching my video. I hope I've covered it in more detail on how you can you know, replace that image and get the same look and feel. Everything else is as usual with our templates. All the elements are there for you to edit and customize. If you have any questions with the template, feel free to contact us at the support desk and we'll happily help you configure the template if needed.